Hi there, I'm Kara Woods and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of December the 22nd to the 28th. So I'm going to draw three cards here, just to have a look to see what sort of energy and situation will be surrounding us this week. It's kind of an important week for a lot of people as it does Christmas falls in the middle for those of you who celebrate Christmas. So let's see what's coming this week. Okay, so we've got first of all the King of Swords. Okay, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so a lot of Swords energy coming in this week, which I kind of find interesting. So definitely our mental thoughts and our mental perceptions and mental analysis. And we're going to end the week with the Lovers card. All right, so for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. So what we do here, we're looking at three cards for the week. So we're starting the early part of the week, so maybe Monday, Tuesday, the early part of Wednesday, sort of Wednesday, Thursday, the energy coming together, these two, and then ending the week with the, the Lovers card. So, and of course, throughout the week, it's really the combination or the energy of all three is how I draw these three cards. Okay, so... King of Swords. All right, so we're definitely looking at the mind. You know, we're looking at values and beliefs. We're looking at the mind. We're looking at our analysis. We're looking at the way we communicate, how we use words, how we express ourselves through our words and our mental acuity. And so, you know, it is the holiday season. And, and often, you know, I think, you know, our, how we communicate in our words can, you know, bring a time that can bring us all together, but can also be a bit of a double-edged sword here. You know, we can get ourselves into a bit of a pickle depending on how we communicate. And I think that's really what we're being reminded about. You know, during this time with we have lots of family around and lots of social situations, you know, be mindful of how you use your words. You know, the king is saying be practical, you know, to definitely speak your mind and to be mindful though with purpose. You know, the king, if, you know, in this situation, it's either you are the king or the king is someone around you. But it's reminding you that how we communicate is really important. You know, how we use words, you know, that our words really uh, can um, enhance a situation and bring about unity, you know, and bring about a sense of, of, uh, peace and harmony or our words can create some distress you know for us and for others and so that's really what we're being reminded here but as you know the, you know when I think about this king you're going to have situations or or uh, you're going to be in a position where you really are go going to be drawn to want to speak your mind um, to sort of attend those social situations that really suit you the ones that that you feel you really can be a part of and give something to so you might find you're a bit discriminatory as to what things social things you kind of go to this year um, you know because the king is very practical you know the king likes to communicate communicate with a sense of clarity but you know a real clarity from the high sense you know I think the, the king is holding the sword of all truth and knowing you know and when the king is really in a place a very positive place it does that with a, a real sense of articulating that the, the bigger picture the higher sense you know this can also represent though things like the internal dialogue or the monologue you know it could be that you really in a particular situation or a matter want to get to really to get to the truth of the matter a bit like you know how a scientist wants to really pull everything apart and look at it you know or a writer really wants to sit down and be very dedicated that's what this is talking about you know you might find you're drawn to writing uh, your thoughts about what's happened this year so you can share that with your your wider greater community you know you might find you're really drawn to sit down and want to write it all out and really think about what have I accomplished this year what has this year been like and what are my hopes and dreams for 2015 you know if you get into a bit of a pickle situation you know the, the king because well you know will definitely get to the heart of the matter and that that's a good thing you know um, as I said it's a matter of though particularly with the lovers cards coming in here saying well you know get to the heart of the matter but be thoughtful and conscious about how you share that communication because ultimately you want to create Oh, you know, a, a harmonious environment and a sense of balance, you know, it's that duality between heart and mind, you know, that's what the lovers is reminding you here. So, but you know, definitely with the king, you're going to want to be honest and upfront and forthright and, and very articulate and, and from a sense of intellectual, you're going to a call to action. 
Now, but the Nine of Wands, you know, the Nine of Wands, you know, if we look at this card and you think, ooh, okay, what does this look like? Well, someone's feeling a bit distressed, you know, it's around, ooh, maybe you do speak your truth and then you find yourself thinking, oh, did I really say that in the best way? Or, oh, how is someone going to perceive that? Or, gosh, is that just uh, going to be taken the wrong way? You know, and all I can say to that is that, you know, if you've done it with heart and, and you've done it really knowing that this was your truth and you were speaking your truth, then how someone else reacts is sort of their, something they're working on, you know. And yes, we all get ourselves into those sleepless nights where we start thinking about, oh, how has someone responded or reacted? And that, um, you know, is a distressing position to be in and it's good to remind ourselves that that is our perception. We really don't know uh, how somebody else is processing information, you know, unless we sit down and have a heart to heart with them, you know. So the love is the saying that if you if you feel you've communicated your truth and you're concerned or worried or feeling a bit overwhelmed about how it might have been perceived, you know, connect with them, you know, sit down and have that heart to heart, you know, come together, you know, that bring that partnership together because that's the only way you're actually going to know. You know, it's like, you know, if we just dwell on worrying about our perceptions and fearing the possible outcomes of how we've communicated or how how we've shared our values or our beliefs or our communication or, 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 or just our intellectual processes, then we really don't go anywhere with it other than we just get caught up in our own, our own mind. You know, you end up sort of feeding the fear type concept. So trust in the sense that if you really come to share your your communication, your wisdom, your knowledge with a real sense of knowing and connection to the to your higher self and you've done it in a way that was um, to the best of your ability, that, that that is okay and that was okay and, and if you're not too sure, get together with the person. So you know, because you're ending the week with the lover's card and so that is about harmony and love and you know, it's that wonderful balance and cooperation and unity. So there is definitely the energy in this week for you to get together with others and you know, if things are, if you need to sort of double check in with someone around how they're doing, you know, that that's available to you and so really make the most of it. You know, the lover's cards is often around the two opposing energies coming together in a harmonious way because it's okay to disagree with someone. It's okay to have an opposing situation or opposing energy. It's a matter of what you do with that. You know, and do you embrace it or do you find that you bottle it up and throw it into a box type thing? Um, you know, the lover's card is, is, is very much can also bring about that perhaps you've had, this is a communication that you had a while ago. Um, the person may be around you, but the communication you, you've been stressing about, the lover's card is saying to you, you know, this is an opportunity now to, to sort of mend those old situations, those old values and beliefs, put them aside, you know, no point in stressing about it, you know, as the holiday seasons are here, you know, particularly as I said, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, you know, this, this is in the middle of Christmas, this is the waking up at two in the morning, worrying about, you know, the seating arrangements at Christmas dinner, you know, and is the family going to have some sort of, you know, every time you get together there's some disagreement about something and you just end up worrying about it, well wait and see what happens, you know, because you do have the strength of unity and to come together and to uh, maybe change the scenario from what other years have been, you know, so make the most of that, you know. Um, the Lovers Cut is also reminding you though to, if you make promises, if you set up situations, if you um, put a sort of energy into a particular scenario that you are need you will need to follow through with it. You will need to keep those promises. You will need to really be a strong advocate around maintaining um, that situation. You know, be that advocate. You know, I sort of look upon here, this could also be that you've spoken your truth about something in for somebody else. You know, this could be standing up for somebody else in a particular situation, be it work or it could be during a social event or this, you know, as I said, could be the family during the holidays and, you know, and then you start to sort of stress about it. But, you know, the, this is saying to you, no, you know, you've stood up as the advocate, follow through, you know, use that capacity to bring things together and to create a higher sense of unity and harmony. 
So that's what your week is looking like. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope for those of you who celebrate Christmas, have a wonderful Christmas um, and enjoy your days off in the holiday season. Uh, if you'd like to catch up with me, please um, check out my website at kirawoods.com. I've got some specials running for the whole month of December, so you can still jump on in and uh, check those out. You can also leave me a message or connect with me on Facebook at Kira Woods Gold Coast or um, connect with me on Twitter. So thanks very much. I look forward to catching up with you next week um, to f finish up December and look at the beginning of January. So uh, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't um, and uh, have a wonderful week.